Hi guys, PJ here with another Horizon Forbidden West video. This time I'm going to show you how to unlock this secret door, or the secret room if you like, in the actual main base. Now this one you're going to need a load of data pads to get it going, or you can just skip to pretty much the end of the video if you want and get the full code from me, but you won't have collected everything. And I personally like to collect things, so without further ado, Let's go to where the hidden room is actually located first. And for that, as you can see, we're looking at the main desk there of the room as you've come through the front door. We are gonna turn around and run downstairs. I don't think that door had power before. What we're basically doing is going to the it's server room, which is right down at the bottom. Once you've got to the server room, you're gonna turn left, go through the open doorway that's there. Follow it all the way around until you get to the very, very end of where it leads. So we're going to go in this air vent shaft here and follow it right. Basically, you can't go wrong. You've just got to keep following the shaft until you get to the end. Once at the end of the shaft, drop down and there is your locked door or your locked room. Now, this is going to require a seven digit code to be able to open the door. And that's the thing we need the data pads for to get hold of the code to open this door. So we have to go to different locations and they're all in the main base to get these codes. Uh, we'll start with the first one. We're now back in the main room looking at the main desk and we are going to go and turn around again to the right and go to the gaming room, okay, which is the symbol in red there with the sort of drafts board above it. We're going to go to the gaming room all the way to the end, turn left. There's an air vent in the corner that you can pull open. Mm -hmm. Simply follow the vent once you've opened it, the short distance, not a very long one this guy's, and you go into another little secret room. In the secret room, there's a data pad on the table, which contains, funnily enough, part of the code that you're going to need. There's not much else in here, there's a few goodies, a few supplies, things like that, but, you know, it's not massive, so you can have a quick look around and then leave. And Switch we're going to go back to the main starting area again. You guessed it, we're after another data pad, and we're going right from the main desk, and we're going in the room with well, what looks like a sort of green tree above it. If you go in there all the way to the end and look on the right hand side, you will see the data pad in question on the shelf there. Just quickly read that one or play the audio log. Either way, you will get the code needed. You want to see the code there. And we could start back at the starting area again, ready for the next one. The last one is down in the server room again. So we're going to turn around, go back down the stairs, go back down to the server room. And when you get to the server room, you're going to go in the little room to the side that's got the door already open. So the right hand side here, first room on the right, go in there and the data point is straight in front of you. We're going to collect that data point and you might as well collect anything else way down here. And you guessed it, guys, we're going right back to the start again. And now finally, we are ready to go back to the locked secret room. So yeah, back down those stairs again, guys. I've kept coming back to the starts and not to confuse you so you can easily see a reference point of where to go for each section. Or well, like I say, you can just punch the code in and go in here. You don't even have to collect the data pads, to be honest with you. But we're going to come down the stairs and straight to the room. So it's time to punch the code in. So we got nine, six, two, six, one, one, and eight is your last number. I did try them all to actually get that eight. Date. There is a way of getting it. It's related to somebody's date of birth, I believe, but I tried them all and eight worked in the end, so that's your number. I will come back out at the end and pause it on that number so you can do that for reference. Now it's up to you. You've got to scan these data pads, read them all if you wish, but that's the secrets of the room, guys. And like I say, I will leave the code on the screen at the end of this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and please check out my other Horizon Forbidden West videos. Thanks. Bye.